So welcome uh, to the new perspectives in integral and transformational learning. Today is a great and um, important topic of the 12 qualities of the mother. And this is the foundational knowledge for integral yoga. These 12 qualities represent the Divine Mother in manifestation, in action. And today we invited for this topic uh, a very special person, Natalia Pavlovskaya, who is um, a founder of uh, Art Studio 12 Qualities, where they create films and other study materials in the direction of studies of these 12 qualities. And, uh, uh, and also she is a practitioner and a researcher in integral yoga. She helps people to uh, discover themselves and helps them to come back to their own uh, well-being. Um, and also she is a great friend and we discussed with her many, many topics of integral yoga. She was part of our conferences in the integral paradigm of knowledge in Auroville many times, visiting Auroville every year. And uh, something additional I could say, she has a daughter, a daughter whom she named Savitri and she lives in Moscow. She is Russian. So in that sense, it's a very unusual being <laughs> to have somewhere Savitri in Moscow <laughs> from a Russian family. Natalia, uh, welcome to our uh, webinar. Please, um, oh, I would like you to present your topic f in few words. We want to hear from you in the perspective of uh, mm, of the... Mm, experiential understanding of the 12 qualities of the mother. Uh, please, I give you the microphone. Um, hello, uh, everybody. Just Vladimir made such a long, <laughs> long topic, uh, discovering mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Um, uh, about 12 qualities, and yes, we have a lot of uh, discussion with Vladimir, and I was, I don't want to speak about qualities, you know, Vladimir, because I, usually I think that to speak uh, and to use all this mind stuff, we mixed up the essence of the experience of, the, of these qualities with something that belongs to our outer nature. So today I would like to speak about qualities from the point of experience and how can we distinguish um, what it seems to our outer nature what these qualities are and what is their inner presence uh, in us. So from that point mm -hmm. of view. Wonderful. So, uh, if you can give us just a sense of it, what what do you really mean by saying that from the inner uh, dimension to look at these qualities in the experiential way? Could you give some examples? So, yeah, um, uh, you know that all these qualities they also belong to the psychic world. Uh, there are powers that can manifest the psychic world in other in our material world. Uh, so it's only not only um, qualities and powers; it's also mother's aspects. It's we ha we don't we cannot have the qualities uh, without being. Everything is connected, and all these divine mother's qualities and the, and her aspects, they can and bring us to this new psychic world. Mm. So it's like, a, for us, maybe it's another dimension, just for our outer being, for our, outer, our material world. Mm. And one example, just a very simple one. If you feel like the wind is blowing, and you can feel it with your skin, just some influence on your skin, and you can say something about the wind only by the influence of what the wind is doing mm -hmm. upon you. And, uh, and nothing else. You cannot just know about the essence of the wind. Mm -hmm. Because to know the essence of the wind, you need to go out from your uh, nature, what mm -hmm. you are believing. 
and to concentrate on the value mm -hmm. for a long time to have the truth of true sense, true knowledge, what what is value is. Mm -hmm. And that is the same with the qualities. They are uh, we have this psychic being in us that that is the divine mother in us. Mm. And it can push us, influence on our outer nature. And we can have this sense, this you now sense it's on our skin, yeah, through our outer life. But it's only the influence, reflection. Mm. And to really know the quality, we need to go to make this bridge to the psychic world mm. and to truly know it. So maybe for now it's Mm, this is a good example. Um, if you take a little uh, kind of this perspective, if we use it for the Vedic understanding of the Vedic culture, you could see immediately that Vedic rishis were um, using the, all the symbols of nature, such as wind, rain, dawn, uh, night and day, sun, yes, and so on. They were using thunder. They were using these symbols to express some psychological states in the being. And um, it seems that there is a total match on one plane of existence. Everything is connected and nothing is casually appearing. Uh, the wind, the storm, the sun, the breeze, uh, everything is one movement of these many different forces, yes, of the Mother, as you say, of the Divine Mother. Mm. Right. Um, so, uh, I will would like to maybe uh, present uh, what you do to show the projection uh, to these 12 qualities, and would you like to, me to do it? Uh, yes, just a few words, that um, yes. this um, Art Studio 12 Qualities, it's really an instrument for my inner wor work. Uh, it's not like something that we man would like to manifest from outer world, but mm -hmm. the history of all this um, Art Studio was such that it was the inner aspiration to do some work connected with 12 Qualities. And this art studio is an instrument to mm -hmm. tie my outer being to this work. work. Mm -hmm. So that's maybe later we can speak about this. And after yeah. this thing. Right. I, it's I, not I, about that we manifest something that's <laughs> uh, something that it's very important, but it's the results that we are doing and we are concentrated for the qualities for, for a long time. And... Uh, the film mm. are our films are our instruments, mm -hmm. and it is some kind of experiential in a way, uh, most probably trying to find the way how to express those inner states in art, in in video, in in uh, films. Um, so it's not the final say or something. It's just um, one moment of in time which happened to be in this way, which expresses that inner being. Uh, shall I project? Uh, of course, of course. Yeah? Okay, let me project the... become a foam-white sea of bliss. I am a curling wave of God's delight, a shapeless flow of happy, passionate light, a whirlpool of the streams of paradise. I am a cup of His felicities, 
a thunder blast of his golden ecstasy's might, a fire of joy upon creation's height. I am his rapture's wonderful abyss. I am drunken with the glory of the Lord. I am vanquished by the beauty of the unborn. I have looked alive upon the Eternal's face. My mind is cloven by his radiant sword. My heart by his beatific touch is torn. My life is a meteor dust of his flaming grace. There is another movement which should constantly accompany devotion. That kind of sense of gratitude that the Divine exists. That feeling of a marveling thankfulness which truly fills you with a sublime joy at the fact that the Divine exists. That there is something in the universe which is the Divine. That it is not just the monstrosity we see. That there is the Divine. The Divine exists. And each time that the least thing puts you either directly or indirectly in contact with this sublime reality of divine existence, the heart is filled with so intense, so marvelous a joy, such a gratitude as of all things has the most delightful taste. And yet, of all movements, the one that perhaps gives the most joy, an unalloyed joy untainted by egoism, is spontaneous gratitude. It is a very full joy, very full. It is something that widens you, that fills you, that is so fervent. It is directionless. To feel simply happy, to be quietly happy, a happy gratefulness, a loving recognition of the grace received from the Divine, a humble recognition of all that the Divine has done and is doing for you. Always joyfully accept what is given you by the Divine. Physically, materially, upon earth, it is in gratitude that one finds the source of the purest delight.
It is very difficult to keep up your gratitude. For a time it comes very strongly and again it goes back. The pure flame of gratefulness must always burn in our heart. Warm, sweet and bright to dissolve all egoism and all obscurity. The flame of gratefulness for the Supreme's grace who leads the Satak to his goal. And the more he is grateful, recognizes this action of the grace and is thankful for it, the shorter is the way. Right, so we are back. Uh, can you make some comments maybe on um, on this beautiful film? How did you come to this concept or vision or sense of that it should be in this way? You cannot catch it from just one day, just a long, uh, mm. long way. We take one quality per year. It's not like we are doing films one once by one month. Uh, we take a year because we need a period uh, for concentration. Uh, it is not uh, for the outer result. It is some inner procedure uh, through time because we need to, something should be born in our outer nature. And in this material world, everything needs time, like a baby, uh, seven months or nine months. Uh, months such as in, in some way it's the same with qualities uh, when you, you take one quality and you go deeper mm. you take um, the mother's quotation and Sri Rabindu writings for example and you dive into them into mm. it and concentrate for a while for one month two months mm. and you absorb your life in this period because when you concentrate on something, something will happen in your life and will uh, show you mm -hmm. some symbols or some examples mm -hmm. of insincerity of when we are not humble, for example. Mm -hmm. It will be very easy to see it, the difference, mm -hmm. if you are attentive, if you, mm -hmm. if you really, really want to go to that sphere. Mm -hmm. And after that, you try to find out the scenario, just uh, maybe it's a short one because we understand that in our time, in our rush time, we need to have short materials. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you try to find out this uh, short essence of you know, the meaning of the qualities by the words of the mother of Shira Binda because they have such a realization of psychic. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why their words are full of force. And then uh, uh, we are recording voices. And, you know, this is not very easy to find proper voice mm. uh, because when uh, somebody is um, speaking, you should be not only just speaking like an outer instrument, mm. very professional one, but you should also to understand this meaning and to have a passage in your mm. uh, heart center and it's not an easy, and we try and try and uh, try several, uh, many people, and we communicate and we listen to the sound. And if, if there is a touch there, is there is something, maybe not so professional voice, it's, it doesn't matter, but we have this touching for, for the inner being. Oh, such a good thing we, 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 we find, found it. And then after that, we trying to find music. It's not an easy to find the music or proper, just 
that is resonated in some way with the qualities. Because we have a lot of vital music with a wide, vital origin from different, different planes of vital. And there are a few of psychic origin. And you need to, and we have a team. It's not only me who are, um, uh, who are working on, uh, on the film. We have, uh, uh, with Vladimir, we usually work on texts. And with and Yulia Minina also, it's my colleague here in Russia. We have, we have also music uh, uh, reductor, Nelly Skandaro, and she's trying to, to find out the proper music and we listen to a very uh, big amount of music to find something that is proper. And then, then uh, we uh, give all these materials uh, to our video uh, editing um, person. Yeah. And she is, uh, she is very wonderful with, uh, with this work with video and she knows how to find proper images. Very good taste of beauty, I see. And then we try to uh, combine all this stuff and to, to get this um, material, by the way, like a, like a result. So it's a, it's really it takes one year. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, because you just understand that it's an uh, offering to the Divine Mother and the Divine Mother is leading us in this process. And we should be very receptive and very attentive to her guidance and there are a lot of stuff that to, between you know between people uh, relationship and we have some maybe some obstacles something but I, I know I uh, know that she's uh, leading us and guiding us and everything will be all right and usually now just we have the reason by the she uh, been the birthday on the 15th of August to have usually we have a new film. So now we're working on perseverance and, you know, this year is full of the material for to be in such a way <laughs> to go through obstacles. So it's interesting. Vladimir, I cannot hear you. Ah, there is a lot of scope for perseverance, yes, in this year yeah. and the next, definitely, to practice that quality. Uh, there is a question, or the quest, uh, to to explain what are these twelve qualities, because we jumped immediately into into kind of we assume that everybody knows about them. What are these twelve qualities? Could you just tell us about them? If you could imagine the divine world, uh, very beautiful one. Uh, it's like a dream. It's like our human dream that we can live there. It's like a paradise for us, but something very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And all these qualities are the aspects of the Divine Mother that can create such a world for us. And I know that this world is really exists in the psychic domains. But now we are here on Earth, we're trying to build the bridge from the psychic worlds to this material one that this psychic can have this uh, substance, material substance, maybe in a very different way. Mm. And uh, these qualities, 12 qualities, they are very essential. They are sincerity, mm -hmm. humility, gratitude, mm -hmm. perseverance, aspiration, receptivity, progress, courage. It's, uh, this is the um, mm -hmm. eight qualities that belongs uh, that uh, correspond to our attitude to the divine. Mm -hmm. It's not about our social relationships at all. When we are sincere with the divine, when we are humble in front of the divine, when we are grateful that the divine is doing everything for us, and when we persevere to be all these qualities, uh, mm -hmm. to be sincere, humble, and grateful. Uh, in every every day, every minute of our life, in spite of all obstacles that we have, and all obstacles that we have in our out, outer nature and our ego, and uh, the last four qualities are goodness, generosity, equality, and mm -hmm. peace. They are for our social mm -hmm. uh, relationships when we are 
in um, when we are with people mm-hmm. and how can we communicate these divine qualities to mm-hmm. others mm-hmm. So maybe very quick and Vladimir can add something no this is wonderful mm-hmm. I maybe I can project at least the symbol it could help in a way to see it uh, what you said just now mm, so here they are this is I would like to comment one uh, one moment and that these qualities and this psychic you is is a new world mm-hmm. uh, we uh, we don't have anything like this in the history of earth mm-hmm. so it's uh, one step forward in evolution of the earth mm-hmm. this new manifestation of new life <clears throat> mm. yes yeah, one. Well, uh, yeah, but every uh, we have so many mm, kind of different definitions of these qualities, twelve qualities. Mother calls them virtues. Uh, others, uh, we call them life principles, uh, or we even speak about them as powers. These are the powers which manifest the worlds, the worlds of evolution, of change, yes, of spiritual change. They are needed for that. Without them, there is no spiritual change and uh, evolution. There will be some kind of typal construction or mechanical worlds which are not growing or changing. The moment we want to grow and change, these qualities are important. And of course, behind them, there are many more qualities. We can speak about sincerity as truthfulness and as, uh, you know, like uh, authenticity, authenticity, to be authentic, to be true, to be oneself, and so on. Svabhava and Svadharma topic comes immediately with sincerity. And each of these qualities has many qualities behind, but they are kind of a topic of those qualities, a leader quality, yeah, which allows us to grow in consciousness in the material world. Right, uh, I will stop projecting and come back to you. <laughs> All right. Once I have one uh, interesting experience uh, with, uh, uh, I can call my client, but it's not and I cannot define in such a way. But uh, we were practicing how to use the winds of consciousness, how to put attention, how to concentrate, how to move in the body, how to be conscious in the body about many, many aspects of our outer nature. And people usually, they don't know about it, anything. Mm-hmm. They are just like children. Oh, it's really... Yeah, and I propose try, try. You can see the the results, and they and, and they see results immediately, and say, "Oh, we don't know that it it can work like this." Mm-hmm. And one day was I have an experience, uh, exter- experiment. Mm-hmm. Uh, I ask uh, the client to concentrate about the herd, mm-hmm. and we usually we practice like this, and I uh, show how to do it. Mm-hmm. And then we concentrate, and at the same time we were concentrated in the depths of our chest. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I was explaining about this new world and all mm-hmm. these 12 qualities. And the, the client, she told me, you know, she, she, she said, when you, uh, when you uh, uh, spoke about it, mm-hmm. I know from above that mm-hmm. it's true. Mm-hmm. And, I, and, I, and I really saw that it's true. I know it, mm-hmm. I, I know this knowledge. But from the uh, heart center, mm-hmm. there was a question, is it really? Mm-hmm. If I can do, because there is no information about uh, all, mm-hmm. all of this, no bridge there, mm-hmm. because it's a new world, you know. Mm-hmm. And it was very interesting how people are reacting. They are not connected with the yoga, they are not connected with meditation, they are, uh, live ordinary life, but mm-hmm. they try to, to have some experience like this. Mm-hmm. Beautiful, yes. Right. And after that, she said, "I have a, such a peace for the whole, for the whole of evening. It was a piece of paradise." She said because it was concentrated, just mm. one idea that something is there, one idea that something mm. is very beautiful there. Mm. 
By the way, to add to this, that uh, the whole project in Auroville is built around these 12 qualities and Matri Mandir is surrounded by 12 chambers uh, of meditation chambers where each is dedicated to a particular quality and you enter into the chamber of sincerity and you sit in that chamber and you meditate upon sincerity to find it in yourself and so on. So you can move from chamber to chamber around, these are called petals, petals of the lotus, and then you can enter into the major building. Maybe I will even project this, um, uh, this um, vision of the... Uh, wait a minute. Here it is, I think, one of these here. Do you see it? Hmm? This is the Matri Mandir and... Uh, no, we, no, we don't see it. We no, 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 we cannot yeah. see it. Okay, sorry. That uh, means I'm doing something not yet there. Let me then open it and then project like this. It's a glitch of projecting. Here it is. So if you see this, uh, Matri Mandir is the major building and within you have the crystal meditation hall. But here, uh, this is the peace chamber, I think. Uh, you see blue color. This is courage chamber. These are petals around, one, two, three, four, twelve petals around Matri Mandir. They are chambers for meditation, petals. And here they are on uh, the scheme. You can see one, two, three, four, five around. These are starting from one sincerity is the first, belongs to Maheshwari, and ending with twelve peace, which is uh, intersection between Mahasaraswati and Maheshwari. So, uh, here we have the embodiment of the center of the whole city, the future of mankind is designed in such a way that these qualities are the major qualities for him to gain and to grow through them. Mm. You can see that the ray of light is falling from the top uh, to the crystal within the inner chamber of Matri Mandir, and then through the ceiling, you see, through the ceiling in the uh, right left corner, it falls down onto the thousand petal lotus below where the waters are uh, flowing constantly through the whole Matri Mandir and fall on the lower crystal, illumining our subconscious mind. So this is the purification by the ray of light, by the ray of the divine, and twelve qualities are supporting it or manifesting it in the physical world. And there is something important to the relation of the, of the psychic qualities and the physical embodiment. Um, psychic uh, projection or psychic presence or the soul in us which reincarnates is doing it for the manifestation in the physical world. And without this physicality, without the physical body, it doesn't have anything to do here. So it is through the physical that the psychic is working and bringing that ray into many colored uh, formation. That's why uh, these um, qualities have different colors. Yeah, you can see them and here. Also, very essential that we should be open and have this surrender, because usually we are close in our ego, in our beliefs, in our what we are, personality. We work on this personality through several lives, we have such structures in some way and subtle vision, they are rigid, rigid structures, and we are closed, closed to the divine reign, closed to the divine grace, because we would like to be something for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, all our nature, all our nature is like this. It's, you know, if, if we are really sincere, we can say that we are like this, mm -hmm. closed. In some way and when we have this aspiration and when we are open in front of the divine mother mm. and we understand that we are nothing when we have this crisis i call it inner crisis that you understand that all that you have done all that you have do and what you have you know in your outer nature is nothing it has a no way and in such a moment you have this claim of sincerity 
Mm. And you say in front of the mother and you pray in a situation that I don't want to be like all this, that I am holding all this time, mm. like myself. And in this moment, this is moment of the truth when we are open for a while, for mm. seconds, for two minutes, maybe more. And we are open and these divine greens can in, enter to our body. Mm. And all these psychic qualities can manifest in this time mm. in us. And this is very essential. Otherwise, we can speak about them, we can talk, we can have several minutes for this, but it mm. will be only, you know, like a, um, um, in, out, in outer nature, it will not the truth of this opening, surrender and opening before the divine. Mm. That's the only key to the psychic world. Mm. So beautiful. And when it reaches out, all those beams, all those, then they fill our life with meaning and with joy. That is a real joy, which is everlasting. It is not the joy which, is, which depends on the result or the desire being satisfied. It is an unconditional presence of joy and knowledge and happiness in action, in the body, now, in this moment of time. This is a something if people want to be happy and i hear this all the time the major topic how to be happy that this is the way to happiness uh, beautiful now uh, there is a question here i already see questions we are coming to the time of questions i'm already quite over time uh, how can one mm, be sincere more and more day after day it's an aspiration. It's an aspiration. It's an invocation. Just notice how how much time you spend for this. Mm -hmm. How much time you spend for the dialogue with the divine. How much time you talk to the mother in your life. What is your aspiration just when you wake up? And for what purpose you will spend your day? For mm -hmm. outer stuff? For many, many, many busy, busy, busy deals? And things, and do you remember the divine in every second of your life? That that is the question. But if you have this path to the inner worlds, if you once have this experience, and you have the key to go there, and this is a really refuge, mm -hmm. because when you live in this world, it, it's not very very comfortable world. It's mm -hmm. many things, very awful things is here. Mm -hmm. And there you have this refuge because it's, you know, uh, like you don't want anything but only this mm -hmm. <laughs> because you know the taste mm -hmm. of this. And every day, just only like this, it's not uh, immediately you can mm -hmm. reach there. But it depends on the first, on the aspiration. Mm -hmm. There is also a request from what I see to explain better the sequence of 12 qualities, which you already mentioned, but there is again this kind of request. Uh, would you like to do it or shall I project the 12 qualities? I think you, uh, you will do it better than me. Faster, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I, I will just uh, touch upon these qualities which were mentioned already by Natalia. In the same sequence, uh, Mother says everything starts with sincerity. This is the first chamber yeah, in Matri Mandir building. But on the Mother's symbol it is blue color. Notice, sincerity is a pure blue color. And uh, she says that nothing is possible without sincerity. Everything begins with sincerity. Without sincerity, nothing can be done. Sincerity begins and ends the whole movement of our discovery. So if you lose the sincerity on the way, so we lose our way. And that truthfulness to ourselves, yes, without which nothing can be done. Now, this sincerity leads us um, uh, naturally to humility, that we recognize that we are not in charge of this world. We are not here to assert ourselves in this egoistic you know, formation. We see that the Divine is present in everything and everywhere, and we become naturally humble. Uh, we surrender to the Divine. We accept the Divine's guidance. And that leads us to gratitude, that very gratitude 
to accept everything as the grace of the divine. And this acceptance of the grace, that everything is done by grace in this world for you and for others, is gratitude, unconditional love, bhakti in the heart. And uh, next is perseverance. We have to hold on to this uh, truthfulness of ourselves, the humility and gratitude. And if we hold on to it, then it leads us to aspiration, to the, uh, to the flame in the heart, to seek always the divine in this world. And this flame in the heart is kindled by the divine itself in our hearts. And then it, lead, it leads us to receptivity, which is, which is opening uh, our eyes to every presence of the Divine in the world. We become receptive. We receive uh, and understand um, the action of the Divine in the world. We accept and put to work or allow the Divine Grace to work within our uh, framework. And that leads us to progress. We see the road, how we have to grow day by day. We see the road where to go. We see the summits which we have to, uh, the, to climb to. And what is required for that journey is courage. Courage is the last and the most important in this uh, sequence from sincerity to courage. And you can see that the colors change in the same way from pure blue sky to red, deep red. So all three colors are, are represented here, from blue to red. In between we have golden and yellow. And then four major qualities towards humanity. Goodness as a goodwill as always looking for the good intention in human beings and other beings, and aligning ourselves with their good intentions rather than criticizing their uh, deficient parts and incapacities. Uh, then generosity, one has to be generous on every level, mental, vital and physical level, in thought, in feeling, in uh, physical means. Uh, and then equality must be there. We have to equally accept everyone and everything as the manifestation of the Divine, without any preference. Uh, and finally, the deep and profound peace is concluding the uh, circle. That was a brief introduction to the whole sequence of how it is viewed, how these faculties or these... Um, qualities are important for us in this self-finding and manifesting oneself in the world. I will stop sharing and I'm back to you, Natalia. Oh, you have more films there, not only on uh, gratitude, we did also work on sincerity, which, is, which was our first work. Uh, or we did first work on integral education, yes, and then sincerity, and then uh, uh, humility, and finally gratitude. Uh, you also wrote uh, the whole story, and this is one question I would like to ask, and I will come back to the questions which are already posted here. Uh, the story for children, the the traveling of the soul from quality to quality. Uh, and we were even thinking to publish this and to make pictures for children, yes? Can you yeah, say something was, about it? No, it was an idea. It was at uh, the very beginning that I wrote uh, this story uh, about 12 qualities in the fairy tale style. Mm. Uh, what I think when we, I was working more profound on this and go deep in myself, uh, it's, you know, it's like a first work and then you go further, you understand that maybe it should be uh, redone mm. or rebuilt uh, somehow. But yes, it's a very nice idea just to put an idea for, for the children that there are mm. such a qualities there exists. That mm. They should have an idea in their life that something is there, which is yeah. what was like this. So the child is embodied, the child is born here, and then 
he is reminded or he or she is reminded about the the why and where from and what for uh, the child is here. Mm. Yes, it was an adventure to find 12 qualities in order to solve the problem that mm. uh, this child has. So it is adventure from one quality to another and with discoveries of uh, the inner self. Mm. It's like this. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful. I remember it. The, the presence was there in that journey. There are questions which I, has, I have to ask you. There are six questions already here. Now let me open them and see. Uh, Natalia, please share a little about psychic self or psychic being. Thank you. No, it's, it's a very big and long topic. <laughs> when we have a spark of the divine that we call soul, that is behind in the depths of our being, uh, usually its projection in, is in the center of the chest, but very deep, because our uh, body is a projection of uh, plane of consciousness, and the psychic is, is uh, veiled by our outer nature. And usually people... Um, not, they are, don't, don't distinguish uh, the vital being, the sensation being, emotional being from from the psychic. The psychic is behind and its influence, and the first influence is here in our uh, feelings. Mm -hmm. No, just as the mother, the divine mother, said that uh, we cannot uh, can uh, we cannot understand uh, the psychic with the mind. It mm -hmm. is a not a proper instrument for that. Mm -hmm. um, well, the psychic being is um, developing ourselves full, uh, from one life to another with evolution on Earth. Mm -hmm. And uh, somehow this, it's like a, maybe another body that is mm -hmm. uh, somehow formulating us. But it, it is very su subtle and uh, it uh, uh, belongs to another domain. But it's a direct projection to the transcendental mm -hmm. uh, plane. Mm -hmm. It's the direct, uh, um, uh, direct path to the mm -hmm. absolute, uh, mm -hmm. which is uh, not only the creation, but about it. Mm -hmm. So, and we have this not through through the conscious of through um, the plane of consciousness, but we have this direct path there, mm -hmm. and we should to discover it. We should to open it and to have maybe have a uh, touch. And we can uh, have a d dialogue or, or absorb some influences of the psychic being. And I think that if we are interested in it and we have pearls for it, mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, reach it. We can, I don't know about realization, but we, have, we can have this room in ourselves, mm -hmm. which belongs to the psychic world. And you know, just it for what it uh, concerns with qualities that they are. Uh, these 12 qualities are the qualities of the psychic beings, and they're natural qualities. You don't need to become these qualities mm -hmm. in outer nature. It's not for that. Mm -hmm. We need to open ourselves for the psychic, and all these qualities are there naturally. Mm -hmm. We don't know to do anything. We, we should be open, mm -hmm. open, receptive, and transparent for this psychic world, psychic being to manifest in our nature. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe Vladimir, you can add something no, like no, wonderful, those psychic wonderful, beings. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and there is a quite interesting um, note here. It is very pleasant synchronicity that today onwards in India we are celebrating Navaratri, uh, which is uh, which also signifies. Uh, uh, the qualities of the Divine Mother in Hinduism. So we have kind of synchronicity with this. So it happened to be maybe by the Divine Grace that we speak about her in her most important aspects, the qualities. Um, there is one question here. Uh, when we speak about aspiration, how different is it from ambition or desire? Let us say plus to it. Yeah, it's, I think the key is our sincerity. Mm. It's uh, the first quality. It's like, a, uh, you know, 
when you really understand that everything is divine and it is not you, that you are doing all these things. And mm -hmm. uh, as the mother said, we are nothing in ourselves. And when we have this purification and sincerity in ourselves, and that is how the flame of aspiration can be pure. Mm -hmm. It is the... What, Uh, first quality, sincerity, humility, and gratitude and perseverance mm -hmm. is uh, essential for this aspiration to, to reach to the transcendent sphere, to be mm -hmm. pure. But we cannot say that we can be sincere, absolute sincere. Mm -hmm. We cannot say so because it's only the divine is absolute sincere mm -hmm. and we are on the path, path to realization. And if we take humility, we understand that... <laughs> Every time we are at the beginning of our journey, mm. and not the all oh, we are far from, we are there, we have, mm. we have this destination or something like that. No, not at all. Mm. It's, it's an attitude, inner attitude, mm. uh, and it purifies us. Mm. Beautiful. There is another question. What do the colors signify and the respective qualities? How do they correspond in your view? colors and qualities why blue is sincerity and red is courage do you have any sense of well, it? I, uh, it's uh, i think it's uh, you know all these qualities they are not such divided uh, in mm -hmm. colors like we uh, take it with our mind because the mind would like to divide everything mm -hmm. it's a specter specter yeah. am i right spectrum it's a color specter mm -hmm. infinite specter Mm -hmm. with infinite qualities but for, for our outer nature to somehow to hold it mm -hmm. we have all these uh, uh, dividings mm -hmm. and for example if you take sincerity it belongs to uh, belongs to the domain of Maheshwari mm -hmm. Maheshwari is I think it's a blue one and a white one mm -hmm. and something that is beyond the higher mind it's mm -hmm. like a transparent and very blue like sincerity and if you can have Uh, uh, and if we take courage, for example, mm -hmm. uh, it's a domain of Mahakali. Mm -hmm. Mahakali is, uh, is red, you know, just it's mm -hmm. have this specter of power, love of mm -hmm. power. And we need to be more uh, to that sphere. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you take, for example, colors of... Uh, blue and mm -hmm. purple and uh, uh, like uh, generosity uh, mm -hmm. quality peace uh, we know that all these qualities are belongs to the material sphere mm -hmm. uh, to the our social relationships and mm -hmm. what uh, if we know the colors of the planes of consciousness all these material planes are uh, have this blue deep mm -hmm. blue and red mm -hmm. one also mm -hmm. Somehow, I try to explain, but I, really, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's, I trust to the Divine Mother when she was coloring them like this. <laughs> right, right. By the way, it is true that uh, Sri Aurobindo also com compared, he looked into all the details of the mother's symbol and he confirmed that this is the right one. So all the colors, all the qualities have had to be matched. There is something about it. If you start meditating, you will see that these colors, that particular vibration on the spectrum of all possible colors represents that particular quality in a way in the physical world. There's something about it which is going, it's extra physical or something, let us say it is uh, metaphysical. It goes into the <laughs> metaphysics of the mind or something. New discovery, but I think the colors are more subtle than we have it on the paper. Mm -hmm. Because all these psychic colors, if you have experience of these worlds, they are more subtle. Mm -hmm. I think we don't use to it. Mm -hmm. We are not used to it. And um, there is a question from Shilpa here. Uh, Shivalkar, how do you associate this understanding to the purpose of our existence? How do you associate this understanding of yours to the purpose of our existence, to the aim, why we are here? 
is the association between these qualities and the purpose. But we are here to, <laughs> we are here with this purpose to build this new world or psychic world on the earth, mm -hmm. or this paradise that we were, uh, that the divine promised for us. Uh, but we forgot this aim, I think, mm -hmm. and uh, we try to um, to to remember something here, mm -hmm. and we have this uh, guidance from the Divine Mother and from the Sri Aurobindo what to do. Mm -hmm. And so we should be very grateful that we don't need to do such a research work, <laughs> that we have all, everything in front of us and we need mm -hmm. only to follow. Mm, it's very true, very right, true. There is also a question, to be sincere, what should be our attitudes, behavior, thinking pattern, or how should we work? How should we work and be sincere? Is it really doable? But if we connect the sincerity with the social sincerity, if we say I am sincere in front of that people, it's mm -hmm. a little bit different meaning because mm -hmm. uh, this sincerity uh, is um, connected with our sincerity in front of the divine. When we look to the divine mother and we are, we are open, we don't need to hide anything or to hold something. Mm -hmm. No, we hold our personality. We have this structure. I am. I am like this, I have such a qualities, I have such a personalities, mm -hmm. I have such a profession, I have such a status, I am an Iraqi, mm -hmm. and many, many things like this. And on the subtle level, it seems like a structure, structure, structures. Mm -hmm. Mental also, me uh, mind is made in all these structures, and they are very rigid, they are closed. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if we are open to the divine, if we are open this structure and they, we are offering this and we say, oh, Divine Mother made something with, with this because I cannot do it. <laughs> and in that moment, when you are, have this prey in yourself, you can do a lot of things with this mm -hmm. prey. You know that the Mother is doing all this work, out of work. The Mother is communicated mm -hmm. and I don't need to be an obstacle to her. Mm -hmm. Not on my wishes, not on my ambitions, not on something that is from the ego side, but I'm open and I'm trying to, to be transparent. But it's very difficult. We have so many levels in our being and we need to unify this being and, and then to open all these levels mm -hmm. to the mother. It's the process of the yoga and uh, everything is written by Sri Aurobindo and the mother on this issue, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is one more question, Natalia. Thanks for your answer. So when we say that the divine is within us, is it our psychic being? But it's not by the saying, it's by the ex experience. Mm -hmm. I can say, but I cannot uh, connect this area to mm -hmm. the uh, area of psychic. If we, if a psychic is awakening in us, we have this influence, we will feel it. Mm -hmm. I feel it Sometimes with the vital, I can burst into tears mm -hmm. when I feel something is touching me like this. Because my vital, it, it's opening to purify it. And all these mm -hmm. tears, it's not I'm regret or feel something bad. No, no. Because I feel the difference between the subtle vibration of psychic and my heart out of nature, full of mm -hmm. stuff, of desires, full of mm -hmm. ego. And mm -hmm. I have this, I can uh, sense this difference. Mm -hmm. And in this difference, when I sense it, I understand what I am right now in my out of nature. Mm -hmm. So it's another dimension through which we can understand better what we truly are. And what we truly are, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's always good to see oneself in a true light. From there we can start our journey of change. Because until we know it, we can't really change. Yeah, we are naughty boys of the Divine Mother, uh, or naughty children of the Divine Mother. Mm -hmm. Because we are, you know, we are, yes, we, we would like the Divine, but we would like to play our own game. Mm -hmm. It's the same, but we are not enough ready, maybe, in our being to say that, oh, I play so many games, I play so much time, mm -hmm. oh, Divine Mother, I don't want to play it anymore by myself. Mm -hmm. I would like that you will play in my body. You're playing all the time, but I, I, I feel that 
it seems to me that I am doing like this. It's a trick of our ego and trick of our interpretation of reality. Mm -hmm. And we try to open it, to make it silent, to make it transparent, to let all these essence to go in front of us. Mm -hmm. In all levels of our being. Absolutely. It's a very, very nice talking to you today and we're coming to the end of our of our time and uh, uh, let us uh, make it as an offering to the Divine Mother uh, that we may all find our true uh, being within uh, her presence within us and um, follow it in our lives. Thank you, Natalia, once more. Uh, I hope we will meet again, connect again on these profound and beautiful topics. It was wonderful to meet with you here. Um, so, thank you too, to everybody. Namaste. Thank you so much, Natalia. Namaste.